Hello everyone, my name is Sam and in this video I am going to show you how to configure GetVPN on a Cisco router. This is the network topology I am going to use for this demonstration. I have a key server, I have two group members DM1 and DM2 and I have a core router that does the routing part. I have the IP addresses and the routing already set up and all addresses in this network topology have a subnet mask of slash 24. So let's get started. Uh, first I'm going to hop onto the key server and I'm going to create a crypto IAC KMP policy. So I'm going to say crypto IAC KMP policy 100. Encryption is AES 128. Authentication is pre-share. And the lifetime for this association is 3600 seconds. And I'm going to use Diffie-Hellman group 5. Okay. Next, we need to specify the address uh, with which the tunnel is going to be formed. So I'm going to say crypto ICKMP key zero Cisco address and zero 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 zero, which means use the key Cisco with all the peers. Next, I'm going to create a transform set. So let's say crypto IPsec transform set. And let's call it trans. The algorithm is ESP AES 128, ESP ACH MAC. Exit. Next, let's create an IPsec profile, crypto IPsec profile, IPsec, and let's set the transform set as trans. Next, uh, we need to create a public key which is going to be used for rekeying. Uh, that is, when the when the key server generates the rekey mechanism, the rekey messages, it needs to use a public key. So let's uh, generate the public key. So crypto key um, generate RSA label let's call it as VPN keys and the modulus is 1024 and let's make them exportable okay and uh, next let's create an access list that is going to allow the traffic from the 10.1.2 network to the 10.1.3 network so I'm gonna say IP access list extended and let's call it get VPN ACL and permit the IP traffic from 10 network 0 .0, 0 .0, to the 10 network on this side. So I'm going to say 10.0.0.0.255.255.255. Exit. Next, uh, we need to create a GDOI group. So I'm going to say crypto GDOI group. And let's call it as GDOI. And the identity number for this group is 1234. The server is local, and uh, the rekeying, the rekey algorithm for this is going to be AES 256. Rekey lifetime is seconds 3600, and rekey authentication, my pub key, RSA, the keys we just created, so VPN keys. Excellent. And uh, finally, I'm going to say. Rekey transport is going to be unicast. So I'm going to use unicast transport protocol for rekeying. Next, we need to create an IPsec profile, uh, IPsec security association. So I'm going to say IPsec, SA IPsec number 10. And um, the IPsec profile for this is going to be profile IPsec. This is already created. And we're going to match the access list, match address IPv4, get VPN. ACL. Next, I need to specify the address of the server, address IPv4 192.168.1.2, which is here, the key server. Okay, that's it. Um, next step, we need to create a crypto map. So, a crypto map, and let's call it as crypto, sequence number 10, and the type is GDOI. And let's set the group as GDOI, which has already been created. which is created here okay and uh, we now we need to apply this crypto map onto an interface so I'm gonna say it's interface 0 0 slash 0 which is here and crypto map crypto exit now you can see the key server is up and running um, so we can hop onto the group member group member 1 and start configuring it and I'm just gonna configure or I'm just gonna copy the configuration from here do show run section crypto IESA KMP and paste it there okay there you see this is the IESA KMP policy we can just copy and paste it there 
great. And I'm going to say crypto ISIC MP key 0 Cisco. And the address is the address of the key server 192.168.1.2, which is here. Okay. Next, I need to create a GDOI group. So crypto GDOI group. Let's call it GDOI. And uh, the server IP address is server address IPv4 192.168.1.2. And the identity number is 1234. Next, let's create a crypto map. Crypto map. Um, let's call it crypto sequence number 10 type GDOI and let's set the group as GDOI which is help yeah. okay next uh, we just need to apply this on an interface interface serial 0 slash 0 which is here and a crypto map uh, crypto so that's it you can see start registration to key server 192.168.1.2 registration completed okay now let's copy the same configuration onto the group number two so I'm just gonna say do show run and yep this is what I want we can just copy the whole thing and paste it onto group number two okay great and we can copy even this and this okay just paste it great now finally I'm just going to apply this on the interface which is here interface serial zero slash zero crypto map crypto you can see start registration registration completed okay let's hop on to group number one and uh, see if we have a tunnel up and running show crypto IAC can be security association yep and uh, finally, let's see if we are having the packets encrypted. Show crypto IPsec SA. Now you can see the packets are not being encrypted. The reason behind is there is no traffic to encrypt. So let's have some traffic. I'm going to hop onto host 1, which is this host, and I'm going to ping this host 10.1.3.2. So let's say ping 10.1.3.2. And let's hop onto the group member and see if we have some encryption going on. Show crypto IPsec okay there you see packets are being encrypted see so that is basically how you configure get VPN on a Cisco router thank you for watching